Oh my god. What is this? What in the world is this? So we just made it to Harrisburg. I'm gonna show you guys another car show. Um, see, this is a big complex right here. Like there's a lot of people here and a lot of cars. But this time I'm gonna do things a little different. I'm actually gonna go up to the cars and show you them. I'm not gonna like say, oh look, there's a Lambo right there. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm not gonna do that anymore. This is my first vlog of 2024, so if you end up liking this video, please hit the like and subscribe button because I love making these kinds of videos. So if you want more vlogs like this, leave a like on the video. So most of these I can actually sit in. You can actually sit in almost all of these cars here. So we're gonna sit in a couple of them. So I'm about to sit in my first car. This is an electric vehicle, the Mustang F Pace. This is cool. This is how you open the car. That is cool. That is G right there. Okay, why did someone draw that on here? I have no idea. This is cool. For electric SUV, pretty nice in here. I never think Mustang would ever make an SUV, but they did. Though, there's no handle on the car, so you gotta open it like this. That is really weird, how to open the door. Never thought I would ever see something like this. The Volkswagen electric van. This is called the ID Buzz. Coming out this year, in 2024. This is sick. This is the hippie bus, but it's electric. Fortunately, I can't get past it because it's roped off, but I can show you around it. This is sick right here. Look at that, it's like a minivan, it's electric. It, there's a whole, you can fit a whole bed back there, wow. That's, this is cool. Look at that, you can literally sleep in the back of this car. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the only thing I don't really like about this car is shaped like a cube. It's a little cube. I do give props to Volkswagen for making electric vehicles on their own lineup. Okay, this I definitely gotta sit in, a fully electric Kia SUV. And it's my favorite color, blue. My first impression, this seat is very, I love it. I love the material. It's on. It feels nice. This is a big car too. He's filming video too. Yep. What's your name? Miles Quarterman. M Y L E S C O R D E R M A N. Yeah. Thank Check you. Subscribe to him, guys. Yeah, guys. Make sure you subscribe to him. I'll put his channel right here. Um, go subscribe to him and get him to a thousand subscribers. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't sit in the supercars. I really want to sit in this Maserati right here with a scissor door, like McLarens and Lambos have. I would love a Maserati. These are pretty nice. I love the red that's on it. Red's one of my favorite colors. My second channel's logo is background's red, so you guys should subscribe to that channel too. Alright, we're going to see the luxury cars. This should be fun. Okay, I thought you had to go upstairs, but you gotta go downstairs again to go to the luxury cars. Alright, let's go. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. We got Maserati Alfa Romeo and McLaren and oh, what the other brand is. Oh, awesome. I can send this Maserati right here. Let's do it. Alright, this is my first time seeing in a Maserati, and so far I love it. I love the carbon fiber material they have inside the plastic right here. I love the leather seats. This feels really nice. One day I want to own a car like this. But hey, if you subscribe and support the videos, maybe one day I can afford a car like this. Alright, I'm about to send an Alfa Romeo. This is a pretty cool green color for a car. Seeing an Alfa Romeo for the first time ever. I love this car. Now, these aren't as expensive as people say they are. They're the lowest price is like 80 some thousand dollars, but like Maseratis are some over 100 grand, some are 90s. There's some that are even 200 grand. The Alfa Romeos are actually pretty cheap compared to other cars. Like this is the Stelvio. This is the SUV of Alfa Romeo. They go for about 86 grand, I think. No way I can actually sit in some Mercedes right now. I'm able to sit in any of these Mercedes except this one. I can see why this is roped off. It's a Maybach. I'm 100% sitting in a Mercedes right now. I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? This is nice. I love the brown seats in this car. This is insane. All right, enough talk with sitting in it. Dude, I love Mercedes. I've never sat in a Mercedes before. First impressions. This is a 10 out of 10 car for me. I love luxury cars. Um, hopefully I can buy one one day. Imagine if there's a G-Wagon here and I'm allowed to sit in it. Oh, that'd be awesome. It's pretty nice. Um, but this is pretty expensive too. I should probably get out of this. <laughs> Yo, this is a dream come true. I could sit in a Porsche. Let's do it. I have never sat in a Porsche ever. I feel like Daniel Mack when he got his first Porsche. This is cool. One of my favorite car brands in the entire world is Porsche. My favorite model is the 911. I love the Cayennes. I love all the Porsche models. The Porsche 911 is actually my dream car. I love the 911s. I'm 100% sitting in this pink Porsche. This is pretty cool. Alright, let's sit in this thing. Oh, this is cool. First impression, this is pretty nice in here. It's a Taycan, that's what it is. 
Oh my god. What is this? What in the world is this? Fully electric Rolls Royce Spectre. Fully electric Rolls Royce. Never seen one ever. I didn't even think Rolls Royce made an electric vehicle. This is amazing. Wow, that's pricey. $541,000. Here's a back angle of purple Spectre. That's insane though. That is crazy. I actually didn't get an inside shot of the car. That is cool. Purple seats. Personally, if I bought this car, it would be blue. This thing comes with an umbrella. So you get two, actually two. You get one on each side. Well, that's cool. So. You got an umbrella and a Rolls Royce. So I can't believe that umbrella is $1,500. We got some older Rolls Royces right here. This one's from 1928. That one's from... This is a 46. That's a 59. Okay, 1946 and 1959. Cool. Yo, I'm actually jealous of who's going to buy that Rolls Royce. I wish I could buy it, but guys, I'm sorry. I'm not Aiden Ross, I'm not XQC, I'm not Kai Sinan, I'm not any of those people. But hopefully one day, you guys can make that possible. So hit the subscribe button and watch the videos. All right, how about we send this BMW next right here? You know, I'm a fan of BMWs as well. This is a pretty nice car. But you know the thing about BMWs is, every time they make new models, the nose on the front gets bigger. Like, one right there, like the nose on that car is big. And this one's even bigger, the one on this car. Um, how do you get out of this, by the way? Wait, oh wait, that moves the seat back? What? Oh my God, the thing to move the seat back is on the door. That is crazy, look, watch. Like, my seat is going back. That's on the door, bro. What in the world? So how do you get out of this? Is this how you do it? Oh my God, I'm actually trapped in this car. Am I actually trapped in this car? Oh, I'm an idiot. The, is a button that opens the door. Okay, I was trapped in here a little time. All right, here we go, Mercedes Sprinter vans. Let's get inside this thing. Oh, this is cool. Let's get inside this thing. Ugh. I like the fully blacked out interior in here. There's a lot of leg space in here too. There's a ton of leg space in here. Hey, that's Mercedes Benz for you guys. Look how big this Cadillac Escalade is. I've never sat in a Cadillac ever. This car is massive. There's a bow tie on it. That means it's something special. Let's sit in it. All right, let's get this thing. Oh my God. There's so much leg room in here too. I love Cadillacs. Um, the president has one. Hopefully I become the president in 2040. <laughs> There's a big steering wheel as well. I wonder why that bow tie is on that car though. And on that one too over there. This is a massive car. How much is it though? Yeah, that's a little pricey. $110,000. So yeah, this was pretty cool. I saw a lot of really cool cars, and I actually showed the cars off this time. I didn't like say, oh, there's a car right there. I actually showed it off. Bro, I'm sweating like crazy. I was running around all day here. <laughs> I gotta calm down. All right, so I'm about to leave, but I wanna send two more cars. So the first one's gonna be a Bronco. All right, let's send this white Bronco right here. All right, let's go. My neighbors have a Bronco, but they have a Sport. I don't know if this is a Sport or not. Here we go. This is not the Mustang logo. Don't get this confused with the Mustang logo. This is a Bronco logo. It's by Ford. So, yeah. This is pretty nice, but right, I'm gonna sit in this Mustang now. This is the last car I'm gonna sit in. Right, let's get in this. Wearing a Mustang. I never sat in one before. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I like sports cars, so this is a favorite for me. I like the seats in it. There's not a whole lot of room. I could not fit back there, even if I tried. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I want to make more car show vlogs like this. I like making them. So if you end up liking this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.